so good oh my goodness hey friends welcome back for another video it's your girl melissa q thanks so much for watching whether this is your first time or if this is your 15th time or if you've been rocking with me for five years you are now family friends and family here on the channel if you love all things faith natural hair beauty lifestyle then this is the place to be. Don't forget to hit the notification bell because it's gonna let you know that I am posting videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. So in today's video, as you can tell from the title, this is favorites. This is the last one that you're gonna see of the year. Then we're gonna go into best of beauty, of hair, skincare, and makeup. So without further ado, let's hop in. First thing I'm gonna talk about, usually I have to talk about hair first, but I just put on a lip. And so let me show you what I have on my lips so as i showed in the clip i have on the essence stay liner and it's eight hours waterproof with a sharpener and it is transfer resistant i really like this if you're like me i am not usually a red lip girl i am totally doing this for <laughs> you guys out there just to be in the holiday spirit a classic red lip i think is a must-have and i think it's something that it's very classy you can definitely pull it off i think that it makes you look more regal more classy with minimal if you want to do minimal makeup but if you want a good mascara a good like liquid eyeliner on the top a little cat eye and not even lash i don't even have on lashes today but i do have on a classic lip and i feel like it just levels up the look so today i have on the revlon this is the new matte in zero to six getting serious and it is a beautiful um this is more of an orangey tone not the blue base but this is a a more orangey tone lip i think that it is very nice it's great for every day it is a matte lipstick so i really really enjoy this and y'all these are under 10 bucks together okay this was like 7.99 this was like three dollars well eleven dollars okay so this is a good combo from the drugstore that i really love i am going to come with more of my favorites from the drugstore in terms of red lips during vlogmas so stay tuned to that but let me share the other things that i absolutely love from the drugstore since we're already talking about makeup let's get into that i do have some hair care products not I'm, i am testing some but we'll get into here let's go from what i put on my face first and that is that that's my skincare right i have been loving i've gone back to this i have finished a bottle of this back in the day this is the l'oreal hydrogenous normal to dry this is their moisturizer i really love this because it's a gel cream if you want something that's closer to the tatcha gel cream which is fabulous this is what you're going to go to from the drugstore i think l'oreal makes really good skincare products i'm going to be talking about them even more i just finished the collagen filler foundation um collagen filler moisturizer that i talked about a couple of months ago that i am totally out of and that one is a really good firmer if you're feeling the elasticity leaving from your skin and you want to feel firmer tighter that is a great moisturizer but this one is a great day moisturizer i feel like this one is really good under makeup it's almost like slash primer if you have normal to dry skin this one would be great even if you have combination skin like me i am normal everywhere on my face except my t-zone where i'm oily so this one is a really good moisturizer moving on to sunscreen i am an advocate for sunscreen i don't care if you're african-american girl if you got skin you need sunscreen there is damage even if you're in the house the you're when you're not wearing sunscreen you're still getting some type of damage to the skin if you are talking about anti-aging and you're using anti-aging products without an spf it's it's not doing anything you're throwing your dollars down the trash out the window down the sink okay so this is the avino hydro and protect y'all this is from the drugstore it is amazing it's for me it's not not greasy if you're oily this may be something that you want to look for because it's hydrating but it also protects the skin this is spf 30 and it's oxybenzone free it's sweat and water resistant and it's all day hydrate uh, hydration with a pre prebiotic oat 
so i really like this if you have sensitive skin this is something that you want to go to and if you are allergic to most sunscreens you might want to go to this because it is the oxy benz um benzone that sometimes gets people into like an allergic reaction and maybe breaking out to SPF but this one is a nice thin one and you can see the radiance and hydration I really like this it's like a one-stop shop it's thin I like it let me start talking about it because I spent too much too long on this so moving on to my foundation now there are two that I really really like from the drugstore I think that I have one for normal to dry or if you're on the dryer end and then I have one if you're oily both of them are from the L'Oreal house, which is the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear. I've loved this one since it came out. I do have a review on my channel, but I did change the color. So this one is in, um, what is this? Warm Almond 487. Okay, so this one I absolutely love. I love the concealer as well. And I just bought a new one. It is in 365 Cashew. If you're my skin tone, if you're Syracuse and NARS or Giorgio Armani number nine in the foundation, then this is the color that you would probably go to. Absolutely love this one. And then the other one is the Matte and Poreless. As you can tell, I cannot get these stickers off from. These are sensors from CVS. Both of these are from the drugstore. This is the Normal to Oily. This is the Matte and Poreless. I absolutely love this. It has a built-in what built-in primer. And this is 332 Golden Caramel. So this one is more, um, as you can tell, this one is more neutral. This is like my true shade. If you're oily or if you're dry and you don't like know which, this is the best one from the drugstore. But if you are oily and you want everything to stay all day, kind of like on the Estee Lauder double wear side and you need to get some from the drugstore I would say this if you have a match of a foundation already and you want to get something from the drugstore and just try it take your foundation with you and match it up that's just the easiest way to me you know because they're not letting you like do that type of thing anymore where you can swatch it at Ulta or anything and this was from Maybelline I feel like Maybelline also makes really good products this is the Maybelline Master Conceal and it is the camouflage concealer it's in medium it's absolutely lovely i really really like this and like i said you're gonna see what i have on my face today but i really really like this it is a full coverage concealer from the drugstore i feel a, really feel like you get your money's worth with this type of product I am just on a Maybelline kick because even when it comes to powders, I love them. This is probably one of the the best loose powders at the drugstore. Mature skin, I feel like finishing powders are the bomb, okay? This is the loose version. I do have a pressed powder version, stay tuned. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. I have Fair Light. This is the one that I use under my eyes and it's because it's yellow tone. So if you're looking for one that's kind of like banana based, even though it says fair, don't be scared, okay? That's what I have under my eyes. All over my face, I have Medium Deep 30. And this one, as you can tell, is my shade all over my face this one is my eyes so I picked up a loose powder in both um in both the same brand I really like this doesn't this packaging look like Huda Beauty but yeah really quality at the drugstore you can get it you guys I feel like this is the the version of toasted almond by black radiance if it was in a cream form this is Milani this is the cheek kiss and nude kiss 110 this is so such a beautiful cream blush okay it gives me Patrick Tawfield's it gives me a, it's just a really good it's very balmy and I really like it because even though I have powder on if I wanted to put this on which I'm doing right now you could it's very balmy but it had it picks up the color is so so beautiful I think that Milani has leveled up even more i need to put some on this side on their products it's very blendable and as you can tell it just gives a great pop of color on the skin if you are a woman of color and you're you're needing a neutral tone like that 
it's great warm but rosy and that's nude kiss it's very it's a very neutral type of blush okay you can use it at before a powder or use it by itself if you love like a nice glow like you see here yes we love that i've talked about this before but i have to talk about this because it's from the drugstore it's really 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 good and it's on the lines of luxury and it's from the brand number seven this is the triple action finishing powder lift and illuminate in medium okay this one i use all over my face but i do use the other one which i have the light all over um right under my eyes but this is such a great finishing press powder absolutely love it i've heard time and time again this is a dupe to charlotte tilbury's finishing powder that she has so really love this i have been loving this primer this is the nyx marshmallow primer first of all it smells so good but it is it has marshmallow root in it that's my that might be the reason why i love it so much because i love marshmallow root in my hair yes but this is such a good primer if you are normal and you want something to smooth out your skin and you're scared like you don't like the silicone feel this smells feels more like a lotion i really do like it and it does smooth out the skin i have it on today i really do enjoy it i was put on by savvy on this product thank you girl for it recommended this and it gives me like luxury feels i'm just saying like it next to my hydro grip prime primer this would be the one that i really like from the drugstore it's hard to find good primers that don't feel primerish i know it sounds weird but there you go but the one that i'm wearing today that i really do enjoy is the butter bronzer this is just a tried and true i know it looks weird in the pan but y'all what like I used it for my contour my nose and it was pretty good it like didn't overdo it you know what I mean this to me gives me like hula bronzer feels but I feel like it's better like I feel like this has replaced my hula bronzer it's not as matte as a hula bronzer but in terms of bronzing the skin still good now the hula bronzer still is the best for the nose contour I'm just saying but this is so good if you don't want to pay the pretty penny for hula bronzer then i feel like that that one is a good one then the carbon black linear intense felt tip liquid eyeliner i wanted to do a full face of all drugstore this is what i have on i really really like it i used to like the kat von d and i just feel like you can get still the same kind of quality this one is it has a very dark tip is very surprise uh precise and if you have issues with lining your eyes or you have an unsteady hand i still feel like that this one is like accident pro proof okay so the final drugstore in terms of makeup that we're going to talk about is my highlighter i've gone back to this and this is the highlighting powder mega low highlighting powder by wet and wild this is in the shade golden flower crown i used to love this one and crown of my canopy oh so beautiful it is so pretty and i feel like for someone like who is seasoned you want that glow within you we're not going for the beaming highlight anymore but we want to just like look like see how on the apples of my cheeks i did like the jacqueline hill like apples on the cheeks type of glow i really do love that color and i feel like it just gives you a good highlight a good lip a good mascara good everything girl you gotta have the bronzer too so these are my favorites from the drugstore in terms of beauty now let me talk to you guys about like my edge control now i know the way that i'm wearing my hair right now does not constitute me having edge control but i still love the my own organics rosemary mint strengthening edge gel this is such a good gel i feel like I, I wish it was in a bigger like i have gone through i believe one of these and i have like two more it i, I like the way it smells and rosemary strengthens the hair so there you go and um, we definitely want to use rosemary to strengthen the hair and get some elongation on this hair speaking of my hair i'm gonna talk tell you a tip 
and a tool that I think that is essential. I'm still testing hair care products, so I'm, I don't have a lot besides the edge control. But let me tell you, a pick. You got to have a pick. I know we zhuzh up our hair, but let me show you. The difference between me zhuzhing my hair and then using a pick, y'all. The pick, now... You know, the hair, uh, the, the the hands will do a lot, but this is also going to stretch it. It's going to give you elongation. It's going to give you all elongation that your hand is just not going to do. Okay, this one is an inexpensive one from the drugstore Con Air. I'll leave a link down below. But when I tell you, like, I was, like, stretching and, like, just picking my hair. Y'all going to see pictures on Instagram of me in this look with it's a different lip color but when i tell you like a pick is everything when it comes to your natural hair don't underestimate it and imperfection i used to be one more for curl definition but really these days especially if you have fine thin hair you love volume right so i mean it's so vol voluminous that now it's out of the frame like i have to sit back yes girl yes <laughs> A pick is everything when it comes to doing that hair girl. Let's talk about a candle that I have been loving. Sea salt. This is DW Home. Sea salt pumpkin. Absolutely love it. Smells divine. Like my husband loves the way that the room smells. And y'all, hello. We're not going to get through the winter burning this. But probably the holidays. Like January, February. Like you know what I mean? It's huge. I pay $14.99. Girl, go to go to Marshalls. I'm just saying. Okay. Let's talk about drinks, okay? And I have been indulging in October and November. Favorite drink? My drink. I mean, I I talked about it. My get ready with me. Pumpkin spice latte and the ha hazelnut cappuccino from McDonald's. Yes. Mhm. Mm I'm usually not a McDonald's person, but I have been loving and indulging in those. In those. I'm just saying. I'm just saying those are my favorite i have been loving teas i love an asian pear tea oh my goodness stash has one of the fav one of my favorite i usually get it from ralph's but i'll leave a link down below if i can find it but it's the asian pear tea not the. it's a i believe it's a green tea but it's mostly asian pear um so good so good oh my goodness so those are my favorites for november i hope you enjoyed them i am like I'm just loving a lot of things. I'm going to come with my best of beauty in December, a part of Vlogmas, but I had to get out my November favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed them. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe before you leave. I will see you in the next video. Bye.